honor God today. The house has already been addressed. I must give reverence to our pastor and leader, Chairman Hutchins, Pastor Hutchins, and First Lady on today. And that must be the proud grandbaby. He always sticks his chest out about there in Kentucky. He's brought great color to our state. I know our state is known as the green grass state, but he's brought all other kind of colors to our state. So he's a very innovative man, and we appreciate him and the opportunity to come to this great church I've heard so much about. I wish I had just something to take back and to show the saints in Kentucky. I've been to South Carolina. I've been to this great church, and to all of our elders and uh, mothers and everyone that I ought to give reverence to. I appreciate you on today. We're going to the Word because uh, what he's brought to our state also is a timely fashion. So I know he's a timely man. And I don't want him to be upset with me because I went over my time. So I'm going to do what I have been called to do. We're going to the book of John today. John 6 chapter. Thank God for Elder Green, my, my driver and the person who uh, was assigned to me by a pastor. And I appreciate him and his hospitality. John 6 verses 5 through 14 has a powerful word there. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred pennyworth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon, Peter's brother, said unto him, There's a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore, they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments uh, of the five barley loaves which remain over and above to them that had eaten then those men when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did said this is of a truth 